Hey, this is Vincent. In this video, I want to go over my new tool, the Stone Edge Sculpting. This tool is intended to give a base sculpt with different options like erosion, trimming, and chiseling. So let's jump right in. Here we are in Subson Designer. I have a very basic setup. So it's here just to play with the tool. So it is just a tie generator with a little edge detect and a bevel on top. The normal is set to 4 as well as the depth of the ambient occlusion. I'm just going to drag and drop the little tool. So as I said, the tool is called Stone Edge Sculpting. The idea is to give a very a, a base, like a first draft, to everyone if they want to go a bit faster in their process. So I'm just going to plug the 8 map in the first input and the ID map in the second one. So you can see that it's already applying a lot of effect to the structure. If I go here and play a little bit with uh, the size of the stone, you are going to see that the effect is just following perfectly the setup. If I select the stone edge sculpting, I made a preset to help everyone if they don't want to play with all the parameters. So you have the default one, that is the one we are looking at. You have a basic one that is a bit more for you know, uh, classical tiles, I would say, on walls, modern ones, or maybe it could be a good draft, first draft for uh, medium-sized mosaics. You have a strong one that is a bit more inspired by what I can do when I'm sculpting in ZBrush. So there is a lot of trimming that are a bit like going inside the stones. And I also create a soft one that is something I really like to have here and there when I'm like creating a broken um, structure for stones. At the very bottom, in the option again on the stone edge sculpting, you will have uh, some debug option. So if I put it to visible, I'm going to be able to see what is happening. So basically the mask of uh, what is changing from here in the 8 map to there. Okay. Now, if I just go into the debug color, I'm going to have exactly the same mask, but with a color code to know, okay, here's the, the trim, here's the chiseling, and here is the er erosion. And finally, you have a little option if you want to have an ID map that is basically um, following the sculpt, because the sculpt is uh, slightly going to move uh, the heat map so as well as your id map so here you have all of those little options if you want they are available so now let's dive a little bit more inside the tool so here we have uh, the, the vanilla tool i would say i'm going to go back to the default so i'm just going to double click on that normal so we can see a bit more what is happening like that and if we go into the option let's uh, let's first of all disable the chiseling and let's disable the trimming as well so here we can see that we have all of the erosion effect and if we open, let's close those guys. If we open the erosion, we have a few little options. So we basically have the on off, obviously. We have a little intensity. So it's going to, to work a little bit like an opacity. So if you want the effect, so you really want it to be like that, but uh, slightly less uh, violent, you can just like decrease the intensity here. Now we have a uh, few modes and scale and amount, but I will go into that. So basically we can play with uh, the run effect and for a broader scale, I'm going to move from here to there with 
32 so I can have more interesting shapes uh, according to the size of my stones so I'm going to play also with diamonds so basically that option is going to add more or less of the effect so it's the amount of the effect itself all right so I'm going to stick to five and uh, then you have that option that I like to play with I can show it to you as well it's an attenuation option and it's really like uh, doing the same effect that if you were slicing the top of uh, the tiles so depending on the finishing you have you want you can play with that let's keep the detection roundness like that and uh, now what we can play with is that we have all of that little setup and you have here a little uh, option that I really like it's the uh, invert of the complete effect so basically it's going to invert the mask that is input in the, the sculpt of the erosion phase and if I invert it basically uh, it's going to do a completely different behavior I'm going to slightly change the option so we can see it back a little bit more so I'm going to move to uh, 20 to have an element that is maybe a bit more maybe a bit more like that and an attenuation that is maybe slightly less violent yeah so basically what is happening now is that instead of the effect straight up we saw previously now I have the invert so it's it's really interesting and of course because it's the invert of the effect i need to go back here to clamp to clamp it but you can see that you can have completely different uh, option with uh, the same mod basically so again uh, it's really to give you a base on your sculpt and not really a final product straight up the bat but um, i hope it will help few person um, another mod that I really like is the crystal so here we are going to see that we are going to move to uh, crystal I'm going to keep the effect to uh, false and then move the scale I'm going to keep my scale probably like that and the amount and bring back the attenuation so you can see that sometimes the effect uh, can be broken if you have some extreme value so it's really important to keep it in mind like it's kind of like a boolean effect so you really want to slide off uh, the top if you want to have interesting uh, little accident here and there so now let's move to the triangle mode so oh and basically uh, the same goes with the crystal i could have played with uh, the invert of the effect and this one is a very good example as uh, the behavior is going to be very different and i really like this one because obviously i'm not i'm never going to use it like like that on every stone but here and there it could be interesting to have stone that are like sculpt like that here sculpt like that there um yeah so basically this one is a little bit the same and we could play also with uh, a bit of the option just to have something that could be a bit more uh, subtle so again from here to there it's quite like a one click um, and finally i'm going to uh, show you the triangle so i'm going to move to triangle uh, turn to false and basically uh, you have different options here because the triangle input here is not made uh, from a, a cloud that is just with scale but with a x and y amount and that is very interesting because uh, for example i'm going to go here and and there so with the same amount of shapes on uh, x and y um, talking about element I'm going to go yeah something like that and probably keep the attenuation like that but just for the sake of the example yeah. 
So let's stick with that. And something that I could have played with is just the X amount and keeping the Y like that. And it's often giving a very cool and happy accident instead of something that is completely homogeneous, but maybe you want something that is continuous like that. So again, just play with the tool. Obviously you can break it if you, if you go with extreme value, but most of it is clamped, so it should work and be uh, pretty uh, solid. So now we are going to move to uh, another option. So I'm just going to go back to the default and we have, uh, so we have the erosion and I'm going to keep the effect to false, uh, the opacity to one and basically, yeah, keep everything pretty much vanilla in that section. And I'm going to remove the chiseling again so we can see what we want. And now, so moving to the trimming, you can, Keep it like that again it's it's working um, but uh, we are going to play a little bit with it so basically the trimming is uh, a bit more aggressive than the erosion so all of those could have been called sculpt one sculpt two sculpt three but basically the behavior is a bit different it's more like removing chunk of the storm so a bit like what you would do with a trim smooth border in zbrush so that's why I call it the trimming. So basically it's that part of the sculpt. And uh, if I play, let's say we play a little bit with um, the size, for example. So here we are at 40, but let's move to something a bit smaller. So you can see that we have a bit of like a different accident. And what is interesting is that you have so the trimming size is basically the size of the effect itself. Here you have the trimming area. So it's like a bit like what you have here, uh, the amount. So it's, it's how much you have that is going to be covered by the effect. Okay. So depending on the slope of your uh, eight is going to be a bit different in terms of range. I keep something that was working with a lot of shapes but it's not clamped, it's just like basically limited, but not clamped. Um, and here you have a trim clamp, but this one is a bit different. It's like you are basically burning uh, the value of the 8 map, and it's going to give you a bit more room if you want to have, uh, let's say, happy accident. So, basically. So this is it for the trimming. The trimming is much more uh, straightforward, I would say. And now we can move to the uh, chiseling. So again, I'm going to go back to the, the default. I'm going to turn the trimming off so we can see a bit more uh, the intensity of the chiseling here. So I'm going to be a bit closer. So here you can see what is happening. I usually call chiseling the very uh, the very small part of the sculpt when people are like removing and trying to have something that is uh, a bit more flat and regular. So it's really showing most of the time on the the plane or the the same similar slopes. So here, if we move the chiseling effect uh, to let's say 0.8 and uh, the intensity so i have an intensity that is like very small on purpose but we can maybe move it to something like that so you can see that it can give like interesting breakup it's really something that is, i usually uh, use as a tertiary level of shapes um, and again you have uh, the intensity here you have, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the most interesting and specific option here is the mask blur. So basically what is happening here is that depending on the intensity of it, it's going to blur uh, the input that is uh, put into the filter. So everything here is relying on uh, one filter 
and the, the mass blur is basically working on a, a top of the heat map and you are here blurring the result so it can be interesting if let's say here i have the shapes on the x and here the y amount so let's go with something like that a bit irregular slow down that and maybe move to something a bit bolder to see the effect so you can see that you could even just use that edge detect that edge sculpt uh, filter just like that without the trimming with a very small erosion or even like without the erosion just to have that type of effect and it's really the way i'm like playing with it as well in my work um, but most of the time to have a good base i'm relying a lot on erosion and on top of that trimming or chiseling so here another aspect of the chiseling you can use it like that for a tertiary and small level of shapes but you can also um, play a little bit like let's bring back the trimming and maybe just put something that could be yeah like that a bit bolder and if we go here what we can do is that i can like intensify the chiseling itself and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, go a bit crazy with the blur of the mask itself and change quite a lot the value here so maybe 64 61 and here go very much stronger and as you can see the effect really change it changed because i blur it uh, a lot here and i change also the size so if i go crazy with the intensity i can have something like that that is a bit more uh, soft in my mind at least and if i want to go with something a bit smaller i can just go back here here and even like play with the x and y amount so it really depends on uh, the type of effect you want uh, how much you want it what do you want to do with it again you have um, some very basic uh, and already working uh, preset here so you can just like play with that play with the default the basic the strong and the soft um, and of course i'm just like making a demonstration here with that uh, very basic uh, structure but you can use it with whatever structure you want so basically it could be it could be anything and it's just going to give you a base uh, on whatever the setup is and yeah so i hope you enjoyed the, the video i hope you will enjoy the tool if you download it and don't hesitate to give me some feedback if you have ideas if you run if you have any bugs or surprise or if you are just happy with it thank you